Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get OBS working on a Mac, specifically Mac OS Mojave 10.14.6 as of today. Um, this is going to be working in conjunction with my Apollo Twin from Universal Audio, and I believe it should work with other audio interfaces as well, but this is more geared towards the Apollo Twin because of the uh, software within Apollo Twin called the console. There's different inputs within the IO matrix that we could get into. Um, I'm going to set it up the most simple way as possible. So let's get right into it. We're going to go to jackaudio.org, go to the download section, scroll down to OSX. We're going to want to click on the binaries file under Jack2. Once we have that downloaded, you're going to want to extract the file by double clicking on it. And it's going to open this file here. By default, Mac is going to block this file. So we're gonna to have to go into security and privacy settings. Scroll down and you'll see this Jack OS X was blocked from opening because it's not from an identified developer. Go ahead and click on open anyway, install it. Once you have that installed, it's gonna have you restart, I think once or twice, I think it's once. Um, there's two different links I'm gonna give you guys just in case one doesn't work, but both of them are gonna give you this same file. Once you have that installed, you're going to want to run Jack Pilot first before you open OBS. Um, you're going to see a button here that says start. Right now, of course, I already have it started, so it says stop instead of start. When you, when you hit start, it's going to run, and after it runs, you're going to want to open OBS after that. Once you open OBS, we're going to go into the settings menu. Go to audio and make sure that you have the first mic audio or mic auxiliary audio as your default device. So this would either be your Scarlett or whatever audio interface you have. For me, it's the Universal Audio Thunderbolt device, which is my Apollo Twin. And the second mic auxiliary audio I have is gonna be my audio that gets played by my desktop or DAW or YouTube, whatever I have playing with on, on the computer itself. And we're gonna, for that, we're gonna select Jack Router. Okay, and before we actually route the pilot properly, a few things that I have set up just real quick is in my output for the recording tab, make sure you have audio tracks one and two selected. And then within the actual audio tab, make sure you put the audio bit rate for track one and two to 320 for both. And you can name them if you want, just to keep it more organized. So let's cancel out of this. Initially, you'll see your mic come out of only the top bar, but to fix this, we're gonna select down mix to mono within the advanced audio properties. We could right click anywhere here, or we could click on this little wheel, go to advanced audio properties. And at this top part, we're gonna click down mix to mono. And while we're in here, we could also set up our tracks. So I'm gonna have my mic go to track one here, and the desktop audio go to track two here. So I have one and two selected. Now, once you're in here, this is where you're gonna have to start routing your audio. Um, oh, and one quick thing, just in case you also ran into this issue, make sure you have this section muted for your mic under analog one, because if you don't have this muted, it's also gonna be playing out of here once we route it, okay? So just make sure this is selected to mute. Let's go into view settings. And we're going to click on the IO matrix section. Now, as you can see from IO matrix, there's 16 inputs. If we scroll down here and there's 10 outputs. So how I have mine set up is we're going to have the audio route into OBS. So I have channels three and four, which is my monitor left and right. It's essentially going to create a stereo signal inputting into OBS. So if we click on the routing section of Jack Pilot here, it'll pop up with this window here. And you can see under the send ports, which are your inputs, there's 16 different capture points. The receive ports, same thing, system, 10 different outputs, which also correspond this way. So you could technically mess with this a bunch of different ways. You could create, create virtual inputs, such as having your a DAW on one input as well, but for me, I don't mind having 
everything just on one input by itself. For example, you could have Ableton running on virtual one and two, and then, you know, Chrome or the rest of your desktop audio running on three and four, if you, something like that, right? So let me show you how I have this set up here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on OBS, down drop that, and you could see I already have it set up to capture three and four, which corresponds to this area here, monitor left and monitor right. The way we get that set up is, we click on capture three here and then double click into OBS in one. When you double click, it'll automatically route the connection as capture three. Then you're gonna do the same thing for capture four. You're gonna to wanna to click on capture four, double click on the in two, and then it's gonna set up uh, monitor right for in two. When you click on OBS, it shows both connections as capture three and four, and it's now set up our stereo uh, input, basically, for Jackpilot. And if you don't wanna do this every time, the best thing to do is when you click on Connections Manager, top left up here, you could do Save, save Studio Setup, and then you could load it every time you open this. That way you don't have to double click and go back and forth every time. I mean, I know it only takes a few seconds, but, if I just click on load studio setup here and then go to my file, which is this, I just have it untitled. I just double click that. It'll automatically route the audio for me so I don't have to do it every time. So once you have the routing set up on the connections manager in Jackpilot, you could go ahead and close that out. Click this little X here. And we'll go ahead and test it to make sure it works. Um, we could try deleting something. Let's just delete this test file here that I have. You guys should have heard that. We can even empty it. Let's see if we can empty the recycle bin here. Beautiful. Play a random WAV file for you that I got. So everything's working okay. We got the mic working. We got my track working okay. To also show you it works in Ableton, let's open up Ableton real quick. It's one of my uh, projects I got working. So uh, let's go in here. Let's see how loud this is going to be. Yeah, so we know it works here as well, which is nice. So that's pretty much. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this is how I got it working properly within OBS through Jackpilot on Mac. Uh, also, I really didn't mess with any sound preferences. Um, I saw a few tutorials that made you change the default uh, audio device, but I didn't mess with any of that. I left the output as my Universal Audio Thunderbolt device, the Apollo Twin, same with the input, because um, of course the input is the default for the mic, so that's what you see as the top part here. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much how I have it set up. Of course, you could go more advanced, more intricate with the IO matrix within console, but I just try to keep it simple. As a last thing, I just want to let you guys know there's a difference, a slight difference for when you stream versus when you're recording a tutorial or a video for YouTube or whatever else. Uh, the main difference is going to be having to select track one for both sources versus track one and two for each source. We're going to have to do that in the advanced audio properties. So for example, within settings, if you go to output, you could see on streaming, you could only select one track. You can't select multiple. So for audio track, it's by default, it's selected to one. For recording, you could select different tracks if you need to. You could select one and two, three and four, one and six, etc. So for streaming, since you could only select one track, we're gonna have to go change the audio properties within advanced audio properties. If you're recording a video, make sure you select it to track one and two so you could process the audio separately. When you're streaming, you're gonna have to select both of these as one. So you're gonna have to do track one and track one for each source. I'm not gonna click it now just in case it messes up the video for some reason, but if you don't select that, it's not gonna capture the audio properly when you're streaming since 
when you stream it only allows you to select one track. That's a quick thing. I just wanted to point that out just in case some people get confused on that. Uh, so again, just to recap, make sure you launch Jack Pilot first. If you launch OBS first before Jack Pilot, you will not be able to see this Jack router input here. Okay? So make sure you launch Jack Pilot first. All right, guys. If you have any questions, comments, I'll try my best to respond. Thanks for watching.